Hi, Jan, it's David Holt, the mayor of Oklahoma City. And as a friend and as a mayor, I just can't thank you enough on behalf of our 700,000 residents for your lifetime of service. Your work at YWCA uh, has changed lives. It's, it's saved lives. And I really think that you will go down as one of the most impactful nonprofit leaders that our city has ever had. So thank you so much for your service. Uh, and I wish you all the best in this next chapter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jan Perry, well done. Thank you seems incredibly insufficient when I think of all you've done for YWCA, YWCA Oklahoma City, our local community, our state, survivors, and me. It's been an amazing thing to watch what you've done over the last nearly 30 years, and I'm sure you could still run circles around most of us today. Um, but you deserve to have fun, relax, rest, and enjoy. Hey Jan, it's Leslie. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all you've done for our community, especially for the underserved women in our community. I'm so grateful for the time I spent learning from you at the YWCA, and I look forward to continuing to learn from you as you move on to your next chapter. Thank you for the opportunities you gave me to be a part of this great organization and give back to my community in a very tangible way. I'm wishing you all the best for your retirement. Hi, Jan, it's Stacy here at the Care Center and congratulations. I am so thrilled for you with your upcoming retirement. You're gonna have so much fun making new memories with your family and getting to relax for the first time. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to my mentor and my good friend. Um, I know where you're at, so um, still get used to phone calls from me. You're not getting rid of me that easy. And on behalf of victims and survivors in Oklahoma City, you are leaving a leg legacy. You've made this world a better place. I love you. Congratulations on your retirement, Jan. It has been such an honor to work under your leadership and to watch you in action. You have had such a tremendous impact on me and every member of this agency and our community as a whole. You've left such a legacy behind and I promise that we will do our best to uphold that. But you get to be grandma and garden and travel and whatever else you might want to do in retirement, and I hope you have the very best time. Jen, what do you say to someone who's given their heart and their love and all of their efforts to people who have no hope and who need help? You are the very best, and your retirement is a loss that cannot be ever, ever replaced. You're reaching out to women mothers who had no hope, who had all needs, who were always available, and you never failed anyone. You never said no. You always said yes, and you gave them everything they needed, beginning with love and care. Hi, Jan. Little did I know when I accepted the invitation to join the Y board many years ago that magic was about to happen. It was just the best decision ever to offer you the CEO position. And it was truly inspiring to see what can happen when passion and purpose align. Congratulations too on your next adventure. Knowing you, I'm sure it will be amazing. Happy retirement day, Jan, and congratulations. I bet you thought this day would never come. Your exit from the YWCA is truly the end of an era, but in the best way. You have contributed so much to the community through the mission of the YWCA, and you have changed countless lives in the process. I'm so grateful for your leadership, and I'm grateful to have gotten the opportunity to serve alongside you for the last seven years. 
Thank you so much for everything that you've done. And I wish you nothing but the best in retirement. Have fun, lady. You earned it. I say thank you from the bottom of my heart for including me in this amazing work that you and the team do every single day. It's been an honor to work alongside you. And I just want to let you know that your leadership and your advocacy all these years will leave such an incredible impact on us forever. Congratulations and thank you. Jan Gentner Drummond, I love what you've done for our state. You've changed the face of domestic violence. You have given a voice to the victim. You've made a difference. You are my most awesome partner. We will miss you, but we will not let you go far. Thank you. Thank you, Jan, for everything that you've done over the years. We're gonna miss you so much, but we hope that you enjoy retirement and get to relax a little bit. Hi, Jan. On behalf of the state, in the Oklahoma Senate, I want to take a moment to tell you thank you and how deeply you're appreciated. I know from a personal perspective that anything that I was able to accomplish at the Capitol regarding sexual assault, domestic violence, and the shelters, I was able to accomplish because of the groundwork that you've laid for decades. Hi, Jan. I'm so thrilled to be able to celebrate you and this incredible legacy tonight. A legacy of 27 years, 27 years supporting the incredible work of the YWCA. That's actually 324 months that you've stood in the gap for those that fall through the cracks. 1,409 weeks full of events and speaking engagements and phone calls and making asks and calling in favors, telling the hard story of why the work of the YWCA is essential for our community. 9,862 days of making sure that Oklahomans have a place to run to as they run from. 14,200,000 minutes lived in steadfast belief of this mission. Like I said, an incredible legacy. And I thank you for all of it. Jan, thank you for your years of dedicated service to our community, for being a trailblazer, an incredible mentor and role model, and an all around great human being. Congratulations on your retirement. Jan, thank you for your remarkable leadership and unwavering dedication to the YWCA. I have always admired your unique and natural ability to inspire and motivate those around you simply by sharing your passion and vision. You've built such a strong team at the YWCA that will continue to thrive on the foundations that you've built. And your legacy will live on through that work and the countless lives that will be impacted. Thank you for being such a great leader, but also a wonderful mentor and friend. We will miss you, but I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon. I'm a really big fan of sweet, wonderful Jan. Her talents are immeasurable, including a whirlwind of genius and always honorable. She has done great things for others, helping her sisters and even her brothers. Whatever the circumstances, she lends a helping hand, never forgetting the true roots in our precious heartland. She gives people great hope, helping us all learn how to survive and how to cope. A strong advocate of legislation, aiding the workload of an entire organization. Leadership is her true gift, never forgetting to be thrift into uplift a faithful, loving, caring, unwavering friend through and through, the type of pal you always turn to. We love her expressive, beautiful smile, and for that, we all would walk an extra mile. Thank you, my sweet lady and kind friend. We will come to miss you year in. God blessed us all with a wonderful, wonderful Jan. Hello, Jan Perry. We love you so, so much. Don't even know where to start, but as I think about a few words, here's what comes to mind. Grace, tenacity, perseverance, oh, was my last one, kindness. 
You've shown us all how to love more, care more, reach out to those that are most vulnerable. We will miss you, but you leave behind an, a legacy that will continue on for many, many years. Only wish you all the best in your retirement. Jan, I've been told that my shelter tours have gotten even longer than yours, so I will keep this brief. You have been a fearless, tireless, and powerhouse advocate for over a generation. Congratulations on much deserved retirement. I can't wait to see what your next chapter will bring. Congratulations, Jan. We are so proud of the work that you have done for the state of Oklahoma on behalf of victims of domestic violence and providing resources for women in need. During the years you and I have had the chance to work together, I have watched you provide education to policymakers. You have offered leadership to those with whom you work, to your staff. And most importantly, you have given hope to countless numbers of victims and families suffering in circumstances of domestic violence. You've not just been the voice for domestic violence awareness. You have been the eyes and ears, the hands and feet, and most importantly, the heart of an incredible advocate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Jan, congratulations on your retirement from the YWCA. The work that you've done and the team that you've led has changed the lives of Oklahoma women and family for years. And that is the greatest legacy someone could leave. Congratulations, take care, and we'll see you soon. Jan Perry, I am so blessed to call you my friend. I watched you start, create, have the vision, and then the pure grit, determination, and obviously love to build what you have built. You are definitely the pebble in that pond that the ripples will go on far beyond, we'll never see. I'm sure you've heard some stories and, and the effect, the impact you've had on so many lives, but it will be generations to come. And I, again, I'm just privileged to call you my friend. You're an amazing, amazing woman. Now here's to your next best chapter. Well, Jan, we've known each other for a long time, beginning with that Leadership Oklahoma City retreat almost 20 years ago. During my time at Positive Tomorrows, it was a pleasure to serve with you to improve the lives of children and families in our community. You've left an amazing legacy, and I know your retirement will not be dull. Best wishes to you, and let's have lunch soon. Hi, this is Rachel Holt, President and CEO of United Way of Central Oklahoma, wishing Jan a long, healthy, happy, well-deserved retirement. Thank you so much for the work you've done for the past several decades for survivors of domestic violence. You have made the conversations and the awareness of domestic violence in Central Oklahoma and throughout Oklahoma a huge priority. You have informed thousands of people. You have saved thousands of lives for your advocacy and education and for your leadership at YWCA. Um, on behalf of United Way of Central Oklahoma, you've been a wonderful partner and wonderful executive director, and we look forward to your to YWCA continuing to flourish um, as you move on to your next chapter. You truly have made a difference for survivors of domestic violence, and your dedication and your education of the community has saved lives and will continue to save lives. Thank you so much for all that you do and all that I know you will continue to do. Be well, love you. Hello, my friend. I just wanted to wish you a wonderful retirement, a happy, peaceful, loving retirement. You will remain at the top of my list of things that I am grateful for in my YWCA experience. I will never forget sitting in a room with our regional Southwest Delta Regional YWCA sisters and you taught me how to lead and how to show up with compassion and how to discuss hard things. And I will always be grateful for that time. And I will always be grateful consequently for my relationship with you. Thank you for everything you've taught me. Thank you for serving your community so diligently and so well. 
Now you can rest. We've got this. You've taught us well. Love you.